Hey folks, welcome back. Milo Oshich live here. And uh, today we talk about finding your passion. Anybody passionate there? <laughs> now look folks, uh, I can only share from my experience what I experienced in my life. And uh, I had a lot of different interests and, and being a very curious person, I'm always interested in new things because I'm always open to it, right? And at some point I used to work with uh, 64 different nationalities. And I was curious, where do they come in from? What kind of language they speak and their... Uh, uh, cultural habits that I have and and being open to new things brought me to this point in life that that I'm interested in learning more this this desire to learn never stop and I'm pretty sure never will uh, as long as you open to it so in terms of a passion well first thing first I was passionate about making money <laughs> no matter what because I was broke and I was bankrupt I couldn't speak English. I didn't like where I was, where my family was. My family needed a support. And I decided that making money is better than going to school. So I dropped out of college and everything I was doing in the first years of my life uh, when I was a teenager was how do I make more money? What do I have to do? And I didn't know much about it. All I knew was like, I have to work in a better paid job. Uh, which one will be, which one do I qualify for based on my qualification, right? And I didn't have any degrees. So I was just looking for you know, my sales jobs. I can work in a, in a shoe store, selling sunglasses, selling lavender here and there, different things. And I was just looking, which one is going to pay me more? Was I passionate about it? Not necessarily. Those are some of them, they were hardworking, hard works, uh, hard jobs that I was standing all day long. And eventually I ended up working on the cruise ship where I was paying more, get, get paid more money. I was standing all day long. It was difficult. Was I passionate about it? Not necessarily. But I love the idea of making more money than I was yesterday, than I was in my previous job, right? Until I, I was financially stable. And at that point, I realized that gotta be something more than just making money. What am I gonna do for the rest of my life? I'm just gonna be jumping from jobs to jobs, not knowing what to expect. Or am I gonna find something that's gonna get me excited? When I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm, I'm excited, I'm dreaming about it. There's something that I'll be doing for the rest of my life, even if I don't get paid. Huh. And I found it, guess what? I found it. I've done several jobs in my life and uh, some of them were just, just really bad jobs. Some of them were just hardworking. Uh, some of them were high paid jobs. I loved them, I enjoyed every single one of them it was a learning curve up until it wasn't, up until I wasn't happy with them, with, with those jobs. I needed something different and I found it. I found the passion in speaking and in investing and in coaching in mentoring. Back in the days, I found a guy uh, that was a, a, an American speaker. He was speaking, he was selling from the stage while I was in the cruise ship. Like, wow, this is so powerful. He's on the stage, he's directing and everybody listening to him. Wow, people are actually going to the back and buying what he's offering. This is a powerful, responsible position to be in. I want it. But I can't speak English, I have a bad accent. You know what? I didn't let that stop me. I just liked the idea of what he was doing. And then the next question is, what do I need to do to do the same thing, to be in the same place? It wasn't easy. It took me years to be where I am today, a founder of Millionaire Speakers program, teaching other people how to build businesses to seven, eight figures uh, with your story and your speaking. But 16 years ago, I was a beginner, right? Until I found what I was looking for, what I thought it was cool at that point of time. You know, I wanted to be cool, right? And uh, and I found it and I stick to it. And, and funny enough that every single job I was doing later on had some form of public speaking or selling from the stage, which I specialized in. I've done over a thousand live events. I've done hundreds of webinars right now. And I specialize in basically selling from the stage. And all our businesses that we built uh, seven and our eight figures was some kind of an offer. And there was a stage, uh, whether it's a live event or a webinar, and I learned how to do that very successfully. That's how I'm here today, right? That's why I'm here today, because I use this ability of speaking. So my passion truly is speaking, but not just speaking that you just go there and share your story. It's using your speaking as a tool to take you to the next level, whether it's to, to build your business, whether it's to sell something, whether it's to inspire someone, where it is to change someone's lives because you as a speaker, you are very influential. You can change a lot of people's lives. 
you can also destroy many people's lives. A lot of, lot, lot of politicians, politicians will do that, right? For me, this was my passion. I found it. And when I found it, I asked myself, would I be doing this even if they don't pay me? And I said, yes. I said, yes, I'll be doing this as long as I have a stage, as long as I have a crowd, I'm enjoying doing it. And that's what I knew I found this passion of mine. Would I be teaching and coaching other people even if they don't pay me? Yes, that's what I would be doing as well. I don't do it for free though. My time is valuable. I don't speak for free. My time is valuable. Rarely I do that for some different organizations. But if somebody asks you, even if they don't pay you, would you do it? If the answer is yes, then you find your passion. So I encourage you folks to try many things in life. Try different jobs, different positions. Go to the gym. See, do you like it or not? Look, I love going to the gym. I go to the gym every single day. Uh, the other day, I just did 100 push-ups. Being 45, for me, that's an accomplishment. You know, never in my life felt better, more determined and passionate about changing lives and making the world a better place. But this is me, right? I love gym. I love speaking. I love selling. I love changing people's lives, right? I love uh, teaching people and, and uh, showing them that there is a different way than what you know. And if this can make your life better, this is what I'm passionate about. I want to see you succeed. I love investing. I love growing. But that's me. That's my passion. Maybe your passion is just doing nothing. Maybe your passion is spending time with your family. So we all different people. We have different idea of success and passion, but you'll know when, when you find it. And I always like to say, passion is not something you look for. Passion will find you. And you will know when you find it. It's like, like your job, what you're gonna do for the rest of your life is not something you look for. While you're looking for it, you're not finding it until you find it and then you start doing it and years later you realize, wow, I've been doing this for many, many years. Looks like I'm a professional right now. So passion is there. You just need to find it. My advice is never, ever give up on that pursuit of finding your true passion. And when you find it, let me know. And you will know when you find it. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.